Today we have an RTA for review and RTA stands for Rebuildable Tank Atomizer. It's KFM4 version 4, it's a clone and it's made of stainless steel. It's 22mm in diameter and 23mm in diameter around the tank section. Look at KFM4. Now back to me. Now back to KFM4. Now back to me. This looks like stainless steel or not. It is stainless steel and it's black powder coating I believe and it's durable and looking good. If 4 looks like this and if you like to see inside you have to check the links in the description. There will be some pictures because we have no time to waste. On the bottom you will find liquid valve. It's not liquid control. So basically when you want to fill it you have to turn this to the left and by doing, by doing that you are turn, turning the liquid valve off and then you can remove this part and pour liquid or you can remove this part and pour liquid from here after you're done with that simply turn the liquid valve back to right all the way and you are ready to vape on the bottom you will find 510 screw which is not adjustable and when you remove it inside you will find another screw and that screw is for adjusting your air control or airflow and now it's time to see how it vapes 1.4 ohms coil a regular micro coil around 2.4 millimeters uh, screwdriver 14.5 uh, watts and inside is some juice I'm not sure which one I mean I'm, I'm sure which one it is but I'm not sure of PG VG ratio uh, I think it's something like 70 30 PG VG and it's um, 8 milligrams of strength 8 milligrams of nicotine that was mouth to lung uh, at this configuration, airflow configuration, I'm able to take a uh, lung hit, but it's really, really restrictive lung hit. It's equivalent something to 1.8 millimeters in diameter. The maximum uh, air size is 2 millimeters. And at 14.5 watts, uh, I'm getting, I would say, a decent amount of vapor. Uh, I'm getting really okay nice throat hit flavor uh, the flavor is um, uh, how I love to say like to say whatever uh, it's saturated KFN4 versus uh, KFN3.1 KFN, uh, KFN light KFN light plus uh, Russian 91% it gives me the more saturated vape and I don't really like it I'm not sure why I like it because it's let's say better but for me it's not better more saturated uh, uh, how can I explain Take the sun dripper, uh, put two drops on your coil, vape two or three times and vape the last hit before dry burn, that's not saturated vape, and then put a few more drops again and vape the first vape, and that's the more that's the saturated vape. I'm not sure how, how to explain the problem that. with this type of vape for me is I believe only one thing, I'm not used to it. But the vapor or the flavor is really wet I mean it sounds ridiculous but it's like it, it's wet like you just drank or no no you, you're not drank you're drinking the water and the other kefans the old kefans are you haven't drink water for about three hours and you have that dry feeling in your mouth if that has any sense quick thumbs up thumbs down first thumbs down screws are complete garbage uh, I throw them away as you saw in the close-up and it's pretty much heavy. I mean, it's really heavy and it's big I don't like how big it is, but hey, what the hell and the positive or thumbs up uh, Build quality. It's really great. Uh, this powder coating is very durable uh, I said that in the beginning uh, The vape is saturated. I think a lot of you guys will like that or girls or both and uh, it, it, it really vapes okay. The airflow uh, controller works. It's not the best, but it does its job. And thank you for watching. That's it.